starting a new piece that uh, is going to be a pretty cool project, I hope, when it's done. Um, I've been wanting to do more human figures, and I got somebody that asked me to create a entryway panel for his home theater with Marvel characters. Um, I think it's Marvel. Anyway, so um, today I'll show some of the drawing process, um, how I do these, these parts. Here's this little guy. Bank. Um, so real quick, I've got this is about a five foot piece of glass right here. And I've got my uh, stencil, my thicker stuff for deep carving. Um, I really love this stuff. They're made by Anchor. Anyway, you can see, um, get a rough idea of her name is Phoenix and essentially she's going to be rising into the sky with flames coming around her and um, so I've got the rough outline right here and how I do this is I just make as best a printer as I can with my kind of annoying printer and so here's the multiple pieces put together um, I lay her out where I want her put down some carbon paper underneath I've got my little metal scribe that I use to create my uh, sort of rough outlines so I get the basic idea and from here I'm going to go in and um, draw out a little more specific. Also you want the lines to be dark enough so when you're blasting all this stuff would get faded out so I wouldn't even know where I was going at a certain point. So I go into my box here, I got to pick, I got random assortment of markers and pencils and pens. Um, some days, some pens work better than others, and, and so I can do a little test. That one's running pretty smooth. That one seems all right. It's always good to have maybe a third around, just in case. This is from Air New Zealand. I've got them from all different airlines and different banks and whatever else. All right. Um, and then, of course, got the necessary blades. Number 11, got the swivel blade. So that's all in the box of tricks there. So my pen set up. So what I'm gonna do is now I've got the printout with a little more clean version. If I don't do a printout, then I'll just use my phone so I can actually like zoom in on certain areas that I wanna draw a little more specifically. Um, but also, um, I do a lot of my design work in the blast room. So as I'm blasting, I'll stop in the spot and I'll actually freehand carve or do some other tricks I have to get the detail that I want it. But anyway, uh, this can be kind of a slow process, so I'll do a time lapse, at least on the drawing part. I might cut it today. I might cut the stencil out. We'll just see how I'm feeling, um, if I still have the energy and want to do it right now or get distracted. Anyway, so I'm gonna do a time lapse now the drawing. All right. I realized you couldn't see any of the cuttings I was doing, so I figured I'd do a quick little shot of a better angle so you can see some of the cutting technique. Get that set up in a good spot. Well, that should work, I think. Okay. All right, some swivel blade action. Kind of see how I push sometimes, other times pull. Sometimes you just gotta keep track also of like what you've already cut. And that can get a little confusing at times. You can see like, you can get really small little turns. So it's really cool. Go here, you can go in, zigzag, get little hits like that. It really adds a lot to your effect. Pretty much any line I draw, I'm now able to cut because of this little blade. There. And then, 
some straight blade stuff. So I'll generally just kind of pull, leave a couple of fingers down here for counterbalance. And you can do a kind of a spin pull like that. Just takes time to get these fluid movements practice. I look back at like flames I used to do on glasses compared to now and it's such a different world. Just because I got I learned how to use the tools better and more fluid, faster for sure. And here's one, so like you gotta have this line stop somewhere. So on the drawing, that's his arm. But how are you gonna carve that? You can't, but still this piece has to come out on its own. So I'm just gonna cut that and even mark it with a pencil just so I know that that's not a permanent line I wanna keep, but it's a line I wanna acknowledge as part of his body there. If that makes sense. Those are cut. I think this is almost done. Get a little bit more down here on his leg. And then since this is gonna get squiggly, I'm gonna use this guy. Pull. Now we've got our All right, so that's a little better. Hopefully you see a little better technique. Blade technique right there. And this is just about finished, all the cutting. So this is getting blasted soon. So I'll put it in the blast room when I, uh, when I start that, get some footage of that. All right.